The Registration of Birds and Deaths Amendment Bill was passed in the National Assembly in August of last year in spite of strong criticism and objection from the APNU AFC opposition. However, the government used its one-seat majority to acquire approval for the passage of the bill. The opposition said that at the time the bill was being deliberated on before its approval, they warned of a sinister move behind the provision. The party says it is evident now that the PPP PC has initiated its plan to register persons who are without true and legitimate basis for registration since any person who is armed with a local birth certificate and over 14 years of age becomes eligible to be entered on the National Register of Registrants from which the voters list is extracted. During the People's National Congress Reform's weekly press conference on Tuesday, Attorney at Law and Member of Parliament Amanza Walton Desir registered the party's concerns over the act, which she noted lacks provisions for the information included in a declaration by a Tushau or Justice of Peace to be scrutinized before a migrant is granted a birth certificate. We're calling on Guyanese to be aware because you are absolutely correct. If a corrupt, for example, Justice of the Peace um, decides that he should, for uh, a price, uh, confer or make that declaration, um, that person becomes or becomes entitled to a birth certificate and thereby is deemed to be a citizen of Guyana. So it is quite alarming and there are no checks and balances. Neither are there very uh, strenuous penalties. She pointed out that the party highly suspects that migrants in the far-flung regions of the country are being prioritized for birth certificates, resulting in a delay in persons acquiring same from the coastal regions. There is an emphasis being placed on uh, registering births in the far-flung uh, hinterland uh, regions, and that is why there appears to be a paucity of uh, birth certificates available to, to the Guyanese out here on the coast. So. Just last week, leader of the PNCR, Aubrey Norton, told reporters that the party has received reports that associates of the People's Progressive Party, who are engaging in the ongoing registration exercise facilitated by the Ghana Elections Commission, are issuing fake birth certificates. He advanced that the report surfaced in parts of Region 1 and maintained that the presence of over 25,000 Venezuelan migrants in Ghana is being exploited for political and electoral purposes. Walton Desir at the time of the press conference could not provide an accurate update on a number of reports the party is in receipt of, but noted that the party will continue to publicly rebuke the act and the subsequent actions taken by the government. She noted too that an official complaint has been lodged at the Ghana Elections Commission. Section 44A, one of the new sections inserted into the law, outlines the process by which an adult who has no documentation whatsoever may acquire a Guyana birth certificate on the basis of one of the following alone. One, a declaration in a prescribed form signed by a person of high standing in the community, including a community leader or two shall or a declaration under the Statutory Interpretation Act by a person of high standing in the community, including a community leader or Tushal. This declaration is to be signed by a justice of the peace or a commissioner of oaths, and the declaration must state the particulars of the birth of a person or any other document with information, including a certificate of baptism or information in the marriage registers. Tamika Rodney reporting for the HGP Nightly News.